All right, another one down. Let's uh, throw that rope around and uh, see what happens. See if we can get that whole pile in one grab. So as I said earlier, I've got we've got the hook on here. So if we can hook this around, I'm not sure that I've got it in the right place portion of the pile, but I'm thinking probably towards the the middle or so. And if we hook that around and pull this tight. Now let's bring the uh, let's bring the Yanmar over, and we'll grab it here. We might have to re or grab it a couple times. Once once we get the weight on it, it'll start to pull tight. But I I'll bet we can get this whole pile up there uh, across the field. It's it. We're going to be taking it quite a ways, probably about a half a mile. So uh, if it can all hold together for that long, I'd say that that's a win. So I've got the clamp down as close to the hook as I can. I'll pull that tight. And all we have to do now is just to fit that in there. We'll uh, tie up the tie up the excess so we don't run over it with the tractor. Right there. Should be able to just tuck that in there. Not have to worry about it. Okay, let's see how see how it goes. So we pulled most of the slack out of it there, so we can we might have to re-rig this a couple times. The problem with this setup is that there's so much spring in the branches that uh, it wants to go kind of go back. Let's grab it again see what we get. So what did we learn here? Well, we learned that this little clamper deal uh, does not work on the am steel, <laughs> the braided, <laughs> the braided rope cable, whatever. It's too. Uh, I think it's too flat. I tried it like five times, and there's just not enough substance there. It's super, it's super flat, and it can't bite. So this thing may be designed to hook onto wire rope or more of a traditional rope. So um, let's get rid of this. Let's try something different. Talk is cheap. Man, I remember my, I think it was my auto shop teacher. That was his mantra. He'd say that all the time when anyone was talking trash. It's always easy to suggest something on the computer. Always easier than actual when it, when it gets to the real world uh, deal. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around this shackle twice, right? And I've got enough rope right here that I'm going to uh, hold this lead here in the cab and I'm gonna continue to go up, up, up until I pull all the slack out of it and then I'll lower it down. We'll tie this off to the front of the tractor and uh, that way I don't have to continue to get out of the cab. Well, let's see, see how it goes.
<laughs> oh my goodness. So this is turning out to be a colossal waste of time. I could have had the pile move twice over without all the messing around with the stupid rope I did. <laughs> See, there you go. That's what happens when you take suggestions from people who uh, haven't actually done it. Um, so yeah, maybe in a little tiny pile, <laughs> that might work. So I'm gonna, tie, I'm gonna tie this off here onto the brush guard. And uh, it's still, I mean, I'm just, you can see how much flex I'm getting out of it. I, I don't know that it's gonna work, but uh, we will see here. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, let's give it one more shot. And then I'm, I'm gonna say that this is a complete waste of time. It's like, it's like, so that's not designed for, to carry load. <laughs> okay, well, uh, looks like I have a little bit of straightening to do. Oh, there, <laughs> it's fixed. Uh, you know what? This idea is probably the only thing dumber than me wearing this stupid hat. We'll see you guys on the next video. I know, I know, I wasn't doing it right. I'm, I've braced myself. Go ahead, let me know how I did everything wrong. <laughs> so the uh, yes, the the blue am steel rope is uh, too slippery and the wrong profile to work with the uh, uh, with the puller or the bulldog, as many of you guys who work in the trades um, have called it. I, there was many name, different names for that thing. Some guys or one guy said it was called a pork chop. Uh, it does kind of look like a pork chop. Uh, it's, it's those regional uh, names for the same tools. I, I always find that very interesting. Uh, guys on the East Coast always have something a little different than the guys on the West Coast or the South. or um, Just those, uh, those interesting colloquialisms. Is that, well, is that the right word for it? So we're not done with this yet. I guess as many of you as recommended the, uh, the failed rope method... Uh, also recommended, hey, you've got that big right up brush hog on there. Why are you even messing around with it? Throw them on the ground, run over a couple times with the with the brush hog, and problem solved. You'll be mulched. You won't have to do, even handle anything. I thought, well, that maybe that's a good idea. Some of these branches, though, are pretty big, up to uh, probably close to five inches, but that's exactly what we're, what we're going to do. Next installment, uh, as you see, I took all the branches and I just flung them out in a big circle. And we're going to 
go after them uh, with the brush hog and see what happens. Now, maybe that's our, our new forestry solution. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And um, today is a wonderful day. It is a Sunday morning. It is my birthday, April 1st. And Mrs. W asked me, what would you like to do on your birthday if you could do anything? And I said, well, I'd like to go uh, dirt biking with uh, Jack and my friends. So that's what we're doing. We're heading out here at about an hour. Um, and I'll try to get a little bit of footage, but uh, we've got some kids coming and uh, one of my favorite riding partners. And we are going to have a lot of fun today. Come back and uh, meet the family for uh, pizza. So, um, yeah, we'll send you some Instagram photos. You can follow us on Mr. Wrangler Star. Uh, follow along. I put up uh, short clips of videos and things there. And... Uh, if you enjoy these forestry videos, don't forget to click the thumbs up, show support to the channel, and to comment. And, um, and uh, thanks for everything. We'll see you guys on the next video.